what is great and is 5,000 miles long. The Great Wall of China. <laughs> All right, after the first joke today, let's get into the topic. World War I begins. This is, we're going to have two videos on World War I beginning. The first one focuses on the actual causes. So let's get into it. Concepts for the day. What factors led to the onset of World War I? Booyah! There we go. Key vocab for today, alliance, nationalism, militarism, and trench warfare. Trench warfare, um, I actually think we get into tomorrow, so I don't know why I put it on this slide, but oh well. The causes of World War One, and generally there are four causes brought up by most historians as to why World War One began and why it was ready basically to explode. Uh, Europe, that is, was ready to explode. And the first one is nationalism. This is a time around 1914, which is the year World War I begins. Uh, this is a time when a lot of nations are really getting into the idea of believing in their country and their nation is best. Um, and we just got done talking about imperialism. It kind of goes along with that idea that that cultural superior, superiority. Um, every every European nation thinks that they are the strongest, they are the best, and uh, it, it's going to play a, a big role in why World War One does begin. And if we stick to that theme of what's been going on with imperialism, a, a, another part of that is the militarism that has happened over the um, over the past uh, fifty plus years, and that uh, that idea that army there there are standing armies in countries. You're building up armies uh, so you can take over other lands. Um, so having Big militaries ready to fight is also going to play a role in why World War I begins. And then if we once more stick to that idea of imperialism, imperial, imperialism in general is um, the main is one of the main causes of World War I, but here we can talk about the economic aspect of it. This, because so many countries are looking for that land, well, again, why are they looking for that land? It has to do with economics. It has to do with finding a good market so you can take raw materials and then create something out of it and make a big profit. So this competition between nations is going to be big. So you have this competition between nations, you have the idea that my nation is better than your nation, and then you have militarism where every nation is ready to fight if the time ever came. Well, because a lot of this is happening on, there's, a, there's, a, there's an idea that is out there, and it's this, the idea is called the alliance system. And the alliance system is something that is supposed to deter nations from going to war, okay? If you are allied with this country and this country and this country, well, the idea here is that you don't want to, if you're one of these other countries, you don't want to pick a, pick a battle with any of them because they're all, they're allied with so many other nations. So it's supposed to deter countries from fighting against one another. Makes a lot of sense, right? Well, that is going to be problematic, as you see. It is a cause of World War I. The only thing to make mention of quick is you have these four causes that were just mentioned on the last screen, and yet there's still no war that has begun. Okay, Imperialism has been happening for some time. Militarism, nationalism, those are ongoing. The alliance system is in place, but there's no war. So something needs to get everything started to have these dominoes kind of line up and fall down, get knocked down. And that something is going to be the assassination of the Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Okay. He's a heir to the Austrian throne, and when he is assassinated, 
that is going to really kind of set off the alliance system instead of the alliance system being in place and stopping countries from attacking one another it has the opposite effect one country comes to the defense of another country and then another country comes to the the defense of another country and all of a sudden you have all these nations kind of hopping into the war and that is what makes it such a big war first known as the great war later on known as world war one as soon as that assassination takes place you then have the causes of world war one begin or be set in motion